Welcome for let's find the following limit. So the limit is n goes to positive infinity. And then you have n squared plus 3n under the root symbol minus n. Important observation, this goes to infinity and then this one also goes to infinity. It's not equal to zero. That's not accurate. Okay, so we have to transform the expression here first. Let's just work on that. Then we'll take the limit at the end, okay? So you're going to have the root of n squared plus 3n and then minus n. Just multiply by the conjugate of this expression. So it's going to be the root of n squared plus 3n and then plus n. Notice the plus being different from the n. And then, or the minus rather, n squared plus 3n and then plus n. Work this out. Make an observation, right? This is the same as this and then this is the same as this. But the sign here is different from the sign here. So it's a difference of squares pattern you can apply. Which means you're going to have the root of n squared plus 3n quantity squared because it's the same and then minus n squared over that n squared plus 3n okay and then plus the n work on this so now look right this will cancel with this leaving us only n squared plus 3n minus n squared over this root of n squared plus 3n and then plus n all right you should be able to see that good so then look right this will cancel with this now what's left Continue down below. You have n times 3, and then you have to somehow factor something out of here. Notice this is like n times 1 in this position right there. So what? So you got to handle the root symbol like this. It's going to be n squared on the outside, and then within parentheses, when you pull out of n squared, n squared is going to be a 1. And out of this one, you have to do plus 3 over n, because n squared divided by n will give you back this n right here, you see? Okay, plus the n on the outside. Now you distribute the root independently. So it's n times 3 over the root of n squared and then within brackets or something like that. You can just have 1 plus 3 to the n. Okay, and then let's see. Plus n, again, times 1. But now make an observation. Right, This quantity right here is really n because it's the root of n squared. This is also an n, which means you can factor it. So you're going to have n times 3 over n. And then what's left is the the root of 1 plus 3 over n plus 1. And now notice, right, like this cancels with this. So our limit originally cannot be found by doing the limit as n goes to positive infinity of this 3 over the root of 1 plus 3 over n plus 1. You can distribute the limit independently to every little part. The limit as n goes to infinity of 3 is 3. The limit as n goes to infinity of this one is 1 under the root symbol. You can even slip it under root symbol. The limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over n is 0. The limit as n goes to infinity of this 1 is 1. Which means all that is left over is 1 over the root of 1 plus 1, which is 3 over 2. This is the value of the limit. If you don't believe it because it seems too fancy, take this on like a website, like desmos.com and graph it, and you will see when you graph it that it settles down to a graph that looks like this. Just type in x instead of n, for example. And then it's got this horizontal asymptote. The value of that is this three halves. Leave a like if it's helpful.